Hello everyone, Retro Robbie here with another break. I was able to get a box of nickels. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, they are customer rolled again. So it uh, looks like a whole different bunch. So it'll be kind of interesting. So um, you know what I'll be looking for? I'll be looking for uh, war nickels, which I have a little streak going on. My last two boxes had them. So we'll see if the customer rolls produce any war nickels. Buffalo nickels, airs of varieties, anything like that. So I'm not going to waste much time. We're going to break into these, and as soon as I find something, I'll let you in. All right. I already got the first roll in and already found a Canadian. It is a 1984 Canadian, which is not surprising considering, you know, like I said, I live near the Canadian border. I will not be surprised if I see a lot of Canadian nickels in here. Uh, you're looking for the ones before uh, 1982, so 81 and older. Uh, they have a higher nickel content, so they're actually worth more than your standard nickel. So we'll be looking out for those, uh, anything from uh, 81 and older. Uh, until then, we'll keep searching and continue on. All right, on the second roll here, and I I'm was kind of laying them out, and I found one that looks like semi-old. <clears throat> It is a 43, so it has the characteristics, and it is. We got a war nickel on the very second roll. Unbelievable. I am so thrilled. Keep my streak alive. The three boxes now where I've gotten a war nickel, so uh, <laughs> that's why I do this, because you war nickels are one of the easiest finds. Most people don't know that there's 35% silver and nickels from 43 to 45 and we got a 43 philadelphia it's a little worn but we'll take it i'm gonna keep searching these rolls all right we're on roll three and i'm on a roll here literally on a roll this is my third roll and my third find so this is going to be an interesting box that's for sure i already found a one war nickel and found another canadian 1968 very nice a very older one so that has a lot more nickel content so that one uh has a little more value to it so very nice and one thing i've noticed i'm in three rolls in and i really haven't seen anything older than 2006 i'm not seeing many of these uh face jeffersons they all been the portraits so i'm looking forward to this it's looking good so far let's see here what we got here that's an older one nope 1970 so i'm looking really forward to this everything seems to be older and already three rolls and three finds we'll keep going we are on roll four and four for four i might have to start opening these live i think because the finds just keep on coming um I saw another Canadian in this one. So third Canadian, 1990. It's a newer one. But that's fine. We'll take it. That's another fine. 1990 Canadian. One of the beavers. And this one looks suspiciously like a war nickel. Let's see. And it is uh, 61, I believe. Let me check the scope here. I think it's just a dirty nickel. Yes, 1961. It's a 61 Denver. Um, yeah, that's very dirty. But we'll keep t continuing on here. We're so, Like I said, every roll I seem to be having a find here. It's this one on the end there. It is 74. So, again, these nickels are definitely older variety kind. So I'm very happy about that. We'll search. We'll continue. All right. We're still on roll number four. And uh, I figured I'd bring in. There was another find in there that I didn't see. It got towards the very end, fourth from the end. It is a 1956. So 56, no mint mark. So 56 Philadelphia. One year off a uh, semi-Q date of 55, but still a find. We will put that on the board here and we'll continue on. All right, we're on roll five here, so I figured I'd open this one live since I am four for four and see if I can get five for five live here. Knowing my luck, probably not, but we'll give it a try here. It's kind of an older wrap too, so uh, these customer rolls 
Man, hard to get out, but nice to lay out. There we go. Man, I am unfortunately not seeing anything right off the top here. So nope, we will search through this and see if there's anything that pops up that I missed. We are on roll seven here and searching through and we found another one from the 50s. It is a 1954, so we're going to look to see if there's a mint mark on there because there is um, over mint marks on the 54s, and nope, it is just a Philadelphia 54. So another one to add to the board. We'll keep searching. We are on roll number nine here, and I was just going through. Didn't even notice it when I laid it out, but we have a proof nickel, so... Man, I am finding everything under the sun in uh, these rolls here. So very nice, 1985. Uh, you can see the San Francisco Mint there. You can see the S, and you can tell by the cameo um, look and definitely how much thicker it is. Um, and it is a thick nickel, as you can see there. You can see the line going across the whole thing. But it is a... Very nice 1985 S proof nickel. So we are finding all kinds of neat stuff in these rolls and we'll keep on searching. We are on roll 10 and going through this roll and we found a 41. First 40s of the box. Let's see if it has a mint mark. And it does not. So it's a 41 Philadelphia. So put us on the board. Oldest nickel so far in 1941. All right, we're on roll 11. And it looks like we got another Canadian. So let's take a peek at what that one is. And that is a newer 2001. So a newer one, but another Canadian find. So we'll keep going. All right, still on roll 11 and going through and looks like we got another 50s, so 1957. Let's look for the mint mark and it looks like a 57D. So let me verify that on the scope and yes, it is a 57D. Uh, nothing special, but it's an older one and it puts us on the board, so we'll keep searching. We are on roll 15 and going through, fourth from the bottom there, we got another 1950s. This one's a 1959 Philadelphia, so that is my uh, fourth 50s, so stacking them up a little bit now, so continuing the search. We are on roll 16 here, and amazing enough, through all these customer rolls, there is one bank roll in here. How odd. And to make it even more odder for me is this is from NF String and Sons, which I usually do not get uh, rolls from NF String and Sons. I usually get them from Brinks. And as you can tell by this one, this is very uh, stained. It, it's not your crisp white rolls. It looks like it's been around a while. Um, I'm going to open up this one live for us so uh, we can see what's in here, see if there's anything good or not. Uh, and the one uh, bank roll that I got out of all of these customer rolls. So I'll be right back to, and we'll open this up live. All right. Got the roll out and we're gonna open this up now and see how old this uh, roll really is. And you can tell the difference once you pull it back, uh, how it's been around the block a few times. Uh, the edges aren't showing anything significant. Um, let's see here if I can neatly pull this out, which you usually can't, nope. Usually can't. Um, let's lay them out here. Not seeing any Canadians. Nothing's really sticking out. There's an 84. Um, I don't see any, uh, you know, uh, facing Jeffersons. They're all, uh, you know, facing sideways here. Another 84. Uh, so I don't see anything newer years. So that's a good sign. But we'll go through this. There's a 64 there. Uh, nothing too old, 64 Philadelphia. And we'll go through this, but it doesn't look like uh, there's anything old in here. But I'll bring it back in. If there is, if not, we'll continue the search. 
We are back with roll 16, and I was wrong. There was one. There is a 1953 in there. So we did get one from the 50s. Um, let's see. There's a mint mark on back of that. 53 is not a uh, key or semi-key date. Uh, looks like that is a Philadelphia. I'm sorry. Yeah, 43 out of Denver. So uh, it goes back on the board. Um, really nothing I found here is newer than 2002. So that just kind of tells you um, how old of a roll, bankroll that was even circulating around. So it must have been in that customer oil box for quite a while um, because there's nothing, like I said, newer than 2002. Found a 53. We'll keep on searching. I just should have stayed live because right behind that, I think there was one in between there, but right behind that was a 1959. So another 50s on the board, a 59 Denver. So that's my second 59 I found in this box. And I'm just going to quickly go through this here just in case. I'm sure you people don't want to me keep going in and out. Ooh, that's a dirty one. 95, uh, 2002. Yeah, like I said, there's been nothing newer than 2002 in here. 74, 96, 89, 2000, Denver, and 95, 76, 94, and again, 2002. So, nope, just those two 50s right in a row. Um, we'll, we'll go on the next rolls here for you. All right, the very next roll, uh, roll 17, and I see a Canadian N, a suspicious one. No, nope, the suspicious one is just a 64, a uh, dirty 64 out of Denver. We will just quickly check it here. There is a, a DDR on those and also a uh, repinch, uh, repunched uh, mint mark, but I am not seeing it here on this one. Let's look at the Canadian quick a minute. It is a 1980, so another uh, nickel heavy uh, nickel from Canada. So again, 1980, anything before uh, 81 and older has uh, higher nickel content in their nickels. It makes it worth more than the face value of it. So See another older nickel here. Let's see what that is. It, oh, there, very nice. It is a 1943, and no, it is not a war nickel, but a 1943. Um, I think that's 43. It could be 48. Yeah, it's 48. I apologize for that. Uh, kind of hard there to see, but it is a 48, uh, 48 Denver. So. Uh, not a semi-key date, uh, of course, but 48S would be the semi-key date. But oh, a nice second one in the 40s, and we got a Canadian this roll. So there's one more here since we got you here. And that's another 1964. So a lot of 64s in here, but not anything else looks like. So we'll continue the search. We are on roll 18, and I did not see that when I laid flat, but we have another Canadian. It is a 1993, so that is my sixth Canadian nickel um, I found. I'm only uh, 18 rolls into it, and this one looks a little suspicious, but it is a 1980, so I don't see anything else. Let's just quickly go here. Oh, there we are, 1941. So we do have another one from the 40s. So 41, one year off uh, war nickel. Uh, it's a 41 Philadelphia, so it's my third 40s. So actually doing quite well here uh, with the fines all over the board. So I'm really liking these rolls, so we'll keep searching. Again, we're still on roll uh, 18, and again, it hidden from me again. I did not, like, spread these out pretty good. Another Canadian nickel in 1972, so another older year one, so... A high nickel content one, so above face value. So we keep finding these, and I keep loving it. So we'll keep searching for them. We're on roll 22 and uh, going through the roll here, and we have a 1953. So another 50s uh, popped up. It's a 53 Denver. So nothing special, but adds the board that's uh, number seven from the 50s let's see here i got a couple other ones that look a little older uh, 62 too special there and 70 so it looks like that might be the only 50s of the group so we'll keep searching 
We are on roll 23 and going through the roll, and we found another 50s nickel. So 1957 is a 57 Denver. So uh, another 50s to add to my list. We'll keep going. We are on roll 24 and going through. I didn't see it again. Another Canadian, uh, 1987. So that is now my eighth Canadian in the bunch. So we'll keep searching. We're still on roll 25 here and uh, got towards the end and we got a 1940s nickel. It is a 1948 and ooh, that looks like a 48S. And yes, it is. It is a 48S and that is a semi-key date. Look at that, 1948S. Wow. I think that's my first semi-key date I found in a roll. So... I'm extremely happy halfway through this box and we have a uh, 1948s semi key date. I'll put what how many there were produced that year but that is a semi key date. So this box is yielding quite a bit of dividends for me. I am quite pleased. Um we will keep going through these rolls and keep showing you the finds. We're on roll 26 and laid them out, and we have another Canadian in this uh, box here. So 1993, so that makes it my ninth Canadian uh, nickel. We're getting quite a bit of nickels uh, here from Canada. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's another one there. I was just kind of looking through to see if older ones, and there is another one, my 10th one, and that's a 74. So that one is... Uh, uh, older one and more valuable one with more nickels. So I was just kind of just seeing if there's any older ones. And there's a 58. So this roll is coming out pretty good. Uh, 58 Denver. So a, a one from the 50s here. Like I said, there's quite a bit of older ones, it looks like. Hoping. Uh, that one, I can't even see it. It's corroded. Yeah, it is a 76. Not that old. Quickly going through here is one that's kind of beat up. It is a 64, 64 Denver. So again, nothing spectacular there, but we'll check it here for the double die. And quickly, I am not seeing it. Um, I'll search through this roll here because I'm seeing quite a few, uh, oh, looks like kind of older looking ones. There's another one right there, 1954. So a 54, and that is a D. Um, it's not the S over the D or anything like that, so nothing special there, but uh, another one from the 50s. So this roll is producing quite a bit from me, two 50s and two Canadians. I'm just kind of quickly going through here. That's a 63. I am not seeing anything else right off the top. So I will uh, search through all this and let you know if I see anything else in this roll. If not, we'll continue on. We are on roll 28, and it looks like I came across a couple oldies here. So let's look at the first one here. It is a 1953, so 53 out of Denver. So another 50s coin for us. I uh, see another older one here. Let's check it. Nope, 71. So I think that is it in this roll. Yep, that's a 99. So a 1953 Denver, and the hits keep on coming. We'll keep searching. Roll 29, and going through here, and I found another Canadian. Let's see if this one's an older one. Nope, it's a 1993. It's just a dirty Canadian 93. Uh, kind of going through here just to see since I got you on here. That is a 76, so that is not old. Oh, what's on the end there? 1994, not old either. So it looks like just in this roll, another Canadian, but that makes number 11. 
and we'll keep on searching. We are on roll 30, and <laughs> unbelievable as it is, there is another dime in this nickel roll. It is a 2005 dime. So again, I'm making another five cents, made, made 10 cents on these. It is incredible how these dimes have been following me around lately and <laughs> these customer rolls. Um, I'll take it uh, every day of the week. Let me look to see if there's any uh, older ones here. That one is a 93. Nope. This one is a 79. Nope. So I'm not seeing any older ones here. Nope. So we'll keep going on and seeing if we see anything else. Still on roll 30 here, and we found one from the 50s, and it is a 55. 55 Philadelphia is a semi-key date, so let's see if we get one. And it is a 1955 Philadelphia. Look there, bring it up here, and there is no mint mark on that so there's the 55 and there is no mint mark so we have our and there you have it that is a second semi key date um that is quite incredible i've never had multi semi key dates in a box before but this is customer rolled so uh nothing is surprising me the hits just keep coming on so we will keep searching these rolls, uh, and I will keep bringing you in every time I find something. We'll keep on rolling. We are on roll 32, and <laughs> I uh, let go of the rolls, and this came up. Uh, apparently, this was done by control number nine. <laughs> Sticker on, uh, on this uh, nickel here. Uh, nothing special, just a 1999 uh, Philadelphia, but... Apparently, it was inspected by control number nine. So, uh, put that as a side find as an interesting tidbit. Uh, I don't see anything else uh, in these rolls, but we'll keep searching. Still on roll 32 here, and I missed it when I first saw it, but we do have another Canadian nickel. Let's see what year it is. It is a 1984, so... Not a higher nickel content one, but still, it's my 12th Canadian nickel. Like I said, we get a ton of these, so we'll keep searching to see if there's anything else in these rolls. That's just a 64, so nope, uh, we'll keep searching. We are on roll 33, and I'm bringing into the box here of this customer roll. Um, notice this roll is slightly lighter. Most of them are these dark, dark blues. This one is a lighter blue. So I think what I'll do for roll 33 is open it up and uh, see if we find anything good live. So I'll bring it back in and open it in front of you. So here's that roll, which is roll 33, sorry, 33. And I figure I would open this up right in front of everyone to see if there's anything good in this one. Again, I just the wrapper's different than the other ones, so I figure let's open it and see if there's anything different. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Um, I'm not seeing anything right off the top here. That's an 88. Um, oh, there is a Canadian in there. That I see the Canadian. There it is, and uh, it is, wow, it is beat up. Uh, let me put that under the scope. Oh, it is half melted, but I can see the last two years. It is a B up 75. So that is a nickel one. Um, it's been used and abused probably in both Canada and the United States. So uh, 1975, that's a higher end nickel content one. So that's worth more than face value. I'm kind of quickly peeking through here for you guys. Nope, I'm not seeing anything uh, at the top. Uh, it looks like a couple of uh, yeah, a couple of the 2005s, but uh, other than that, I'm not seeing anything else. I will loop you in if I see anything. If not, we'll keep going. 
We are on roll 34 and we did it again. Another dime in the nickel rolls. That is the third one in this box. Incredible, I had four dimes in my penny rolls when I did the customer one. Uh, now I've gotten three dimes and this one's a little older one, 1970. Uh, so yeah, 1970, it's not in bad shape either. Um, there's some scuff marks on it, but overall it's in pretty decent shape. And that is a 1970 Philadelphia. Um, so we got three dimes made 15 cents so far. Uh, let's see if there's any other ones here that are sticking out. No, that's a 69. That is a 69D, so nothing special there. Um, our older, semi older one there, and you know, just 2000. So, no, I don't see anything right off the top. Uh, I'll loop you back in if I see anything else. So, we are on roll 35 here, and I did pull them out, and I did find one from the 50s in 1954. So, let's see what we got. And that is a 54D. So. I'm in year, nothing special, pretty worn. But another one from the 50s. We'll keep searching through the roll here. Let's just quick here. This is another kind of dirty one there. 1999, nothing special there. So we'll keep rolling through them and see what we get. Roll 36. And we have another one from the 50s. It's a 1958. It's a 58 D, it looks like. Let me look under the scope. It is a 58 D. So another one for the 50s. Let's just, the one looks kind of worn. That is an 81. So nope, so it looks like that's the only one I see. Uh, so keep on going here, another one from the 50s. We are on roll 37 and we got another 1950s one. So 1951. So, if it is an S, we will have our third semi-key date. So, let's see what we get. And, nope, it's just a Philadelphia. So, 51 Philadelphia. So, add that to the total and we'll keep on searching. All right, roll 38. And I see an old one. I have not revealed it yet, but I can almost tell that is going to be an old one. We got some 60s in there, so... See what this is? It is a 46. So 1946. It's a 46 Philadelphia. So one year off uh, War Nickel, uh, but it is, I believe it's our fourth uh, 1940s. And I'm kind of peeking here. We got a Canadian in this role as well. So let's pop that out and see what we got. And it is, whoops. It is a 1969, so my old, nope, 68 was my oldest. That's the second oldest Canadian nickel I got. And again, it's one of those uh, higher-end nickel quantity nickels. So we'll add that to the list, and the hits just keep on coming. We'll be right back. So finishing up roll 39, and I did not catch that until the very end here, and it is another Canadian nickel. And this one is 1989, so another Canadian nickel to add to the total. We got a lot of them in this box. We'll keep going. We're on roll 40, and this, just, uh, this roll kind of exploded on me, but when I uh, laid it out, uh, there's another 1950s that came in, so 1956, so 1956 out of Philadelphia, so another one from the 50s to add to the stack, and we'll keep looking. We are on roll 42, and I was spraying them out, and I saw some older ones, so let's go through them. So right there is a 1953, so let's see. What if there's a mint mark in that? Nope, it's just a regular Philadelphia 1953. Um, nothing real special about that. I saw another one. Where did it go? Right there. It is a 59. So another one from the 50s. Newer 51. 
Um, that one has a mint mark. It looks like it is a Denver, and it is, so a 59D. So uh, we got two, two more in this roll, and we'll keep on searching. All right, we're on roll 43 here, and we have a Canadian on the end there close to it. So let's take a peek what that is quick. It is a 1988, so one of those newer nickels. Let's see, since I got you in here, I'm not, everything's facing down, so I'm not seeing anything else. It's 73, 75, so a lot from the 70s, but I'll bring you back in if I see anything else. Still on roll 44 here, and I'm toward, getting towards the end here, and I missed another one from the 50s, so it is a 1958. 58 Denver, so uh, another one for the 50s group. Uh, we'll keep on searching. And we're on roll 45, and I see another Canadian sticking out when I laid them out, so let's take a peek at it. It is a 2000, so a newer one, but another year, so another Canadian nickel. I'm um, kind of going through here, see there's old ones. That's an 88. Um, ooh, that's a really old back. It's a 64D, so not seeing anything from the 50s or earlier, so we'll keep on rolling here. Still on roll 46 here, and we're at the end, and looks like we got another older one there that came up, so let's see what it is. It is a 1948, so no mint mark on it, so it's not a semi-key date like the other one was, but uh, another four, one from the 40s, so we will take it, and we will keep on searching. We are on roll 50, the last roll. So I thought I'd just open this one up live since this was a fun break. Uh, it was a great box, actually. We'll wrap it up here, but lots of finds. Very happy for my first uh, video nickel hunt. And I was glad to share it with you guys. And man, these are coming out tough. There we go. Quickly go through them here and see what we got. So I'm not seeing anything right off the top. There's an older one, uh, 72. Let's see another older one, 75. So oh, there is a Canadian there at the end there though. So we got our final Canadian. Let's see if it's one of the higher nickel content ones. It is not. It is a 1994. So another Canadian nickel, there's over 15 or 16 of them here. So like I said, I get quite a few Canadian nickels. Not seeing anything, I will bring you back in if I do find one at the end there. Let's see what that one is. Oh, there's one, a 1942, and it is not a war nickel. So uh 42 philadelphia but not a war nickel unfortunately but hey we'll still take it it's another one from the 40s um i just spotted that one quick at the end there uh let me go through these and see if i find another one we'll get back at you for a wrap up all right i thought i would do a wrap up here of the nickel box hunt that we did and i was very happy with this box of customer old wraps there were a lot of finds here and very pleased uh, we'll start with the uh, canadian nickels there we got 18 of them and of the 18 six were the higher nickel content count um so very nice there um happy to see that to see uh, the older canadian nickels in this role um we also ended up with uh 17 uh, from the 50s uh, most of them were for 53 right there there was four of them there we also had four from the i'm sorry six from the 40s so that was nice as well none in the 30s this time but uh still good hunt there uh, a couple of side finds we found that control number nine there and that nickel with a sticker on it and also surprising that i found three dimes in these customer rolls so I made 15 cents on this as well on the whole deal. So nice to find uh, three dimes. Nothing special about them, but it's good to find them in there. I also found this nice uh, proof from 85. Um, first proof I found in a nickel box, so that was kind of nice. Also, we ended up with the two semi-key date nickels. One was uh, 1948S. 
Um, very nice there. And then we also have a 1955 out of Philadelphia. So again, we found two semi-key dates. Those are also the first semi-key dates I found in a nickel box roll as well. So very nice. Uh, we also got that nice uh, war nickel that we found in the very second roll. So um, very nice there. It was the 1943 Philadelphia war nickel. Um, very happy with that. Kept my streak alive uh, with that. The third box now that I found a war nickel in the rolls. So very happy with that. Uh, also just a couple of uh, BUs that I will see if they update my book. Uh, very nice ones from the 60s. So kept those as well. So let me know what you think. I had a real fun time with this one. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And uh, remember... Collect what you love, and we'll talk to you soon.